In 1990, Jackie Chan was a veritable unknown in the United States. In fact, the only things most people would remember him for at that time would be his small roles in the Cannonball Run movies. Unless you hunted down Hong Kong action films, then you probably knew him pretty well. But, of course, his lack of U.S. popularity didn't stop Hudson Soft from releasing a game about him on the NES and shipping it to the U.S., and that game is the basis of today's Buried Treasures installment. Well, this guy may not look like Jackie Chan, but that really doesn't matter now, does it? Well, as long as he kicks ass like, you know, Jackie Chan, that is all that should really matter. And he does kick ass like Jackie Chan. In fact, the person in this game is such an ass-kicking machine that the game should actually have been called Shaven Chuck Norris Action Kung Fu. What? What the fuck is my problem? My last fucking video had a frickin' Sulu is gay joke, and now I've degenerated down to a shitty Chuck Norris joke? Good God. I, I didn't even like those fucking stupid jokes when, when, when they were supposedly funny and popular. Damn. Even I'm fucking disappointed in myself for this one. Let's try to get back on track here. Anyway, this whole game can be summed up like so. Jackie here walks around, kills everything that moves, and advances to the next stage. And even gameplay that direct and simple is still a fun game when it's done this, you know, well. You only have a few moves at your, you know, disposal. You have a kick, you have a Mega Man-like charge punch, and a series of special moves such as rolls and roundhouse kicks. You collect these special moves by kicking frogs. Yeah, you heard me. All of these special moves come from the bodies of murdered frogs. Cool. The other enemies range from these birds to these fire and ice throwing demon things and other such creatures. So, so actually, to say that the enemies in this thing aren't, you know, vast would be a fucking lie. But most of them die with, with only one hit. In fact, in fact, actually not, you know, counting bosses, the only enemy that was any real challenge was this fucking tiger. And it only takes just a couple of hits and you kill it. Or you basically just charge up a punch and shoot it at him, and boom, done. So, uh, yeah, the, so yeah, the enemies in this game are, you know, a little easy, but that actually makes makes this game pretty fun. Just now, just the actual fact that Jackie Chan is so powerful that he is able to kill flaming birds with just one punch just seems pretty damned cool to me. Also, the game amps up the challenge factor with these scrolling stages. You really don't have much time to think, because thinking will lead to an almost instant death. <laughs> Look at him die. It is just so damn cute. Only in a Nintendo game can death be cute. No wonder people actually say that video games desensitize people. When death is this fucking adorable, it's bound to screw up anybody. Speaking of dying, um, you only have one life in this game. That would only be a deal breaker right there. But since you have an ass load of of continues, that really is a forgivable thing. And since most of the enemies are extremely e easy to beat, you really you really won't be dying too often unless you want to see that cute little death you know twitch of Jackie's in in this game. And naturally, a beat 'em up lot like this cannot be complete without without bosses. And in this game, the bosses are really, really creative. In fact, uh, in fact, right here, you have to beat the crap out of what looks to be a Hindu statue of some kind. In what other game can you say that you beat the pulp out of a religious statue? I personally can't, you know, think of any. Uh, also, at times, you will find these bells scattered throughout the various levels. Uh, hitting these will send Jackie and his master up to heaven, it seems, on a little magic flying desk of some sort, for a bonus minigame. And in this one right here, you have to jump from cloud to cloud. And each cloud that Jackie tramples on is worth 600 points. And after you get past all of them, you'll get a score, and then you earn bonuses such as extra, such as extra continues, extra health, more and more, you know, charged shots. All of this is going to come in really handy if you actually want to survive. So, guys, let me just sum this up. If you actually can find a copy of this thing on, you know, eBay or 
if it somehow, some way, ever makes it onto the Wii Virtual Virtual Console, I do highly, I do highly suggest getting it. Or you can just download the ROM and try and try it out. I guarantee you, this this game is just a ton of fun. Enough said.